Siem Reap is near the top of the list for many travelers to Cambodia, and the main reason for that dates back to the 12th century. That is the magnificent temple complex of Angkor. Well, the highlight of Siem Reap is this place, the magnificent Angkor Temple Complex. If you only visit one temple site in your life, it should be this. And the best time to head here is when the sun comes up. The temples of Angkor, built by the Khmer civilization and ruler King Suryavaram II between 1802 and 1220 AD, represent one of humankind's most astonishing and enduring architectural achievements. Angkor Wat honors the Hindu god Vishnu and is quite literally heaven on earth. Angkor is the heavenly representation of Mount Meru, and the abode of the ancient Hindu gods. Consisting of an enormous temple symbolizing the mythic Mount Meru, its five internested rectangular walls and moats represent chains of mountains and the cosmic ocean. The overall profile imitates a lotus bud. Throughout the complex you'll find magnificent carvings. Angkor Wat is famous for having more than 3,000 beguiling apsaras, or heavenly nymphs, decorated into its walls. Visitors here are struck by Angkor's imposing grandeur. It's been amazing. Uh, the weather, the culture, the people, um, they're so welcoming, happy. It's a great place to be. It's not hard to believe that from Angkor, the Khmer kings ruled over a vast domain that reached from Vietnam to China to the Bay of Bengal. The structures one sees at Angkor today, more than 100 stone temples in all, are the surviving remains of a grand religious, social and administrative city. Angkor Wat in its beauty and state of preservation is unrivaled. Within this 1,000 square kilometre site, there are scores of other temples, but make sure you take the time to wander through the faces of the Bayon. The Bayon vies with Angkor Wat as the favourite monument of visitors. The Bayon stands in the exact centre of the city of Angkor Thom, and it was believed to have once been a Buddhist temple. It comprises 49 towers each, of which are carved with four faces depicting the compassion of Buddha. Built nearly 100 years after Angkor Wat, the Bayon remains one of the most enigmatic temples of the Angkor group. The other must-see temple site is the overgrown and mysterious ruin of Ta Prom, which featured in the movie Lara Croft Tomb Raider. It was built at the height of the Khmer Empire by Jayavarman VII as a Buddhist monastery and centre of learning. As Angkor declined over the centuries, silk cotton and strangler fig trees took root in the loosened stones of the temple, which was built entirely without mortar. Their roots wound through the structure, creating an astonishing merger of nature and architecture. When Angkor was rediscovered in the early 20th century by French archaeologists, all of the temples had become overgrown, but none so spectacularly as Ta Prom. Unlike other temples at Angkor, Ta Prom has been left as it was found, preserved as an example of what a tropical forest will do to a monument when left unchecked. Your Siem Reap visit should also include a leisurely cruise on the vast 
Conley Sab Lake. Now, Siem Reap is not a coastal city, but if you head out here onto the Tonle Sap, you'll actually feel like you're on the ocean. In fact, this is the biggest lake in Southeast Asia, and its volume of water is so huge that it changes the direction of flow into the Mekong River twice a year. Cambodia's Great Tonle Sap Lake sits only 15 kilometers south of Siem Reap. The engine of this massive lake is the Mekong River, which becomes bloated with snowmelt and runoff from the monsoon rains. The inflow expands the area of lake more than five-fold, inundating the surrounding forested floodplain and supporting an extraordinarily rich and diverse ecosystem. During the dry season, the lake reverses its course. A tour will take you to floating villages, bird watching haunts, and local restaurants that offer souvenirs and special attractions. Besides crocodiles, the lake is home to more than 100 varieties of water birds and over 200 species of fish that provide more than half of the fish consumed in Cambodia.